All right, who is ready for day three? All right, today we're gonna actually start getting our hands dirty a little bit. We are going to do our first life assessment and create our ULA wheel. Um, so before we get into that, I wanna know who did their homework? Who has mastered being able to list all the seven Fs? Hmm? Raise your hand, tell me, comment, I wanna know. Who's got there? If not, there was always one. There's always one. You can list like rattle off all six, boom, 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 boom. And there's always one of the Fs that kind of eludes you. And I want to know which one it is for you. All right. So um, today's going to be a short video um, because I want you to spend time on doing your homework today. And today's homework is going to be completing your ULA wheel. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, the link will be in the um, description. Um, and it will also be in the emails. If you're getting the ULA emails from me, the ULA Life Challenge emails from lindamaymyers.com, it'll be in the email as well. Um, but I want to share my screen with you so you can see what um, I'm talking about and what it will look like for you. All right, so um, you will click on the link. Let's see. And you will come to a screen that looks like this. Um, this is your ULA wheel. Um, you'll click the website and you'll come to this. Um, this is just for me playing around with it earlier. Um, but what you see here are the seven areas, fitness, finance, family, field, faith, friends, and fun. Um, and you're going to click on each one and rate yourselves. So right here under fitness, it says rate your current health. One is life-threatening, 10 is healthy with no issues and no risks. So I'm going to give myself an eight. All right. Then it says, how close are you to your ideal weight? Again, I'm about five to 10 pounds um, away from my ideal weight. So again, I'm gonna give myself an eight. It says when you hover over the numbers, like the scale, it will tell you, it'll give you a guidance to how you would want to um, rate yourself the parameters for that. So in this case, it says 100 pounds overweight is a one, exactly where you should be is a 10 and where you are in between. And then the final says, how often do you exercise? Well, I'm gonna give myself a three because I'm not really exercising right now. So then you hit apply and then there you go. So you'll see the red shoot for fitness and each one is color coded. Um, but a few tips, when you do this um, assessment that I want you to keep in mind, do not overthink it. I want you to go with your gut response, your first initial answer, um, and do not worry about whether it's wrong or it's right or you're being true. We will come back to this and we will take a deeper look at it. Um, but for now, just go with your gut response. Your first response is usually the right one, okay? Um, if you need help, if you really have no idea, ask your spouse, your child, uh, best friend, ask someone who you believe knows you through and through and see what they um, would say for you, all right? So after you're done fitness, you'll click on finance. After you'll answer the three questions, the sliding scale, family, same thing, field, faith, friends, and fun. Um, after you write the three questions for each category, make sure you hit apply. And then you'll see this little color thing jet out like that. Um, and then down here, you'll see an ULA score. Um, so your homework is to complete this ULA wheel, answer all the questions, get your final ULA score, Share your wheel and or your OILA score, whatever. If you can screenshot it, great. If you can't, just share your um, number with us. Um, but I also want to know what has surprised you. Um, when you got your results, when you see your full-on OILA wheel and you see your number after going through the questions, maybe something you didn't think about before, something that surprised you about your results, that's what I want to know. Um, for me, when I did the OILA wheel for the very first time a few years back, um, what surprised me the most was that my fun wheel was really low. And I was like, wow, I never really thought much about that. Um, so just share something about that, okay? Um, let's see, I'm gonna stop sharing. All right, so that is your homework. That is the big thing for you to do. Um, you do have the weekend to do it because you won't be meeting again until Monday. Now, if you are uh, completing this, ULA Life Challenge with us live in you know, April of 2020. We do have weekly Zoom calls Monday night. That information will also be in the link below. Um, if you're watching on YouTube or in the email, it will be a Zoom call. So if you're um, doing Zoom from a phone, you wanna make sure you download the app. If you're doing it from a computer, I believe the link is sufficient. 
All right, so I will see everybody on Monday. Complete your ULA wheel. Uh, share your results. Share what surprised you. And um, Monday starting, um, yeah, because Saturday, tomorrow is catch up. Um, so anything you might have missed, anything you're going to rewatch, go over, spend more time on. Saturday is the day to do it. Uh, Sunday is a day of rest, um, reflection, and getting ready for the week to come. Um, so Monday, we will begin mastering the basics of the ULA Life Challenge, our seven Fs, right? These are the foundations of ULA that we need to focus on to achieve more balance in our life, to achieve less stress, and to be begin fulfilling our life purpose. Um, so Monday, we will start with fitness. Um, as our first, first F to focus on, right? Okay, especially with we are, um, again, April 2020, we're all shut in for COVID-19. Are you going to gain the COVID-19? There's a saying going around now that, you know, people say when you start college, you gain the freshman 15, 15 pounds. People are gaining weight because they're at home and they're shoving food in their face or they're, if they're in emergency care or medical, they're busy and they're still shoving food in their face. So um, let's focus on that and not do that. <laughs> All right. So I will see everybody on Monday. Um, again, Monday we'll focus on the email and the video and I'll be on fitness, but Monday night, mark your calendars for the zoom and I will see you there.